Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So why is this the one thing you should buy that's a new release? Well, we have more colors of Distress Oxide sprays. So if you didn't see Tim demonstrate the first 12 colors at Creativation, you can check it out in the top right hand corner. But these sprays are amazing. They have that pigment dye fusion that we know and love in our Distress Oxides. We had release number one with our first 12 colors and now we have release number two. And there are tons of things we can do with these. So let's dive in and take a look. We have 12 new colors along the front here. Now my biggest bugbear that I had with these Distress Oxide sprays is how do you unpackage them? Because they come all packaged up, but it's really hard to get the packaging off. So I was going to show you how you don't have to wrestle with them. You can unpackage them easily. So I have my Twisted Citron here, and this is how I get the packaging off. You just take off the lid, grab your Tim Holtz scissors, put a snip in that packaging, and then all I do is I unwind my packaging like this, just down to where it kind of, it will automatically just stop somewhere. And then you're good to go. You don't have to take the rest of this plastic off. Somebody said that to me in the first release with how do you get the plastic off? That's my top tip of how to do it. So I want to also show you a couple of ways that you can use them because they're super versatile in your craft room. I've used my first 12 release loads and loads, but I wanted to show you a couple of ways to use this release. So what can you do? The first thing is you can layer the colors to not get mud. So if I part these aside, so you can see what I'm doing on my glass mat. Now, typically if we mixed certain colors together, we would get mud. I'm gonna grab my splat box. You all know I love my splat box because it stops all of that overspray. Um, and this folds down completely flat. And all of the links, of course, are in the video description too. And Hedgehog Hollow Perks members get 10% off all of their Ranger purchases. So if I wanted to mix something like green and red, typically I'm gonna get mud, not anymore with Distress Oxides. Something I should mention is, I did give these a shake beforehand, but with your oxides, I'm gonna have a look through them, typically you're gonna get a pigment settle in the bottom. So you're gonna have the pigment of your oxide settle in the bottom, and then you're gonna have the watery dye on top. So you're gonna to wanna to give them a good shake. You're gonna hear that steel ball move around, and you're going to want to shake it until those two colors are mixed together keep that plastic lid on or shake it around and around or put a piece of kitchen towel over the top. Any of those will work. You may get a little bit of leakage. That's the reason that Ranger tell you to do that. But what you can now do is a nice little spritz. So I can spritz on my green just like this and I'm gonna give it a quick dry. I'm gonna grab my Ranger Heat It tool. The key with oxides is you can absolutely mix colors that would normally give you mud, but you want to dry between layers. Not bone dry, but you want to make sure it's a little bit dry because otherwise you still will get mud. So we're gonna give it a brief dry and I like using the Ranger Heat It tool because it has a lower airflow than my Wagner tool. So it's not gonna move any of those pretty splatters around like my embossing heat tool would. It's gonna keep them exactly where I want them with that nice splatter. So we're gonna give that a quick dry and then we can take something like I know there's an abandoned coral in here, which is one of my favorite colors. And now we can give that a nice spritz over the top and I don't get mud. I have the green underneath and I have my abandoned coral on the top. So you can absolutely do that. So that's how you mix Distress Oxide sprays. Colors that would normally give you mud, you can layer them to not give you mud. And then on the top of this, I could add blue, I could add yellow, I can add any color I want colors that normally would not go together, I can make them go together because I'm layering with the oxides. It's a special magic in that oxides. I can also use them through a stencil. I'm working on the Ranger watercolor cardstock here. So I've taken this one from set 23. I can take my peacock feathers, give it a quick shake. And then I can do a spritz through a stencil, just like this lift my stencil up and I have my Distress Oxide image through a stencil. Again, to wash my stencil, I'm just gonna put it under some warm water, give it a rinse, off I go and it's going to be clean. And then again, I can layer colors over the top if I want to. I could add another stencil. I could use my microglaze, Tim Holtz microglaze again, and then it's going to resist in the same way and I can do all of those fun techniques we're used to doing. 
Now another way that you can use your oxides is using that palette area on your glass mat. Again, use your Hedgehog Hollow Perks for us discount on your glass mat because you're going to want that palette area to use. You can ink smush with your oxide inks in a whole new way. Put some ink down. So I'm going to put some of this new uh, shaded lilac. Let's put down some dried marigold and let's put down some sponge sugar. So these are taking just a little bit longer because I want to prime them. And you're going to notice you're going to get a much more vivid reaction because I'm doing it on a direct to paper. So I can then start smushing them together as we're kind of used to with our distress inks, but it reacts a little bit differently because they're in a spray format. So you see, I can do this again. And so here I've smushed them together, but they're much richer because they're a spray as opposed to using the ink pad. Now I love working with these. So you know what Tim says about putting them down, you get what you get, you don't throw a fit. So I might not like the fact I got those muddy colors, but that's what you get for putting two colors down that don't necessarily in color theory work together. But hey, that was my mistake. So this is why I think if you're gonna buy one new release this year, I think you should go for the Distress Oxides. And of course our Perks members will make great savings over on the Ranger store and the Tonic store to buy all of these things. So check out how to become a Perks member in that top right hand corner or in the video description. We'll also link everything to all of our favorite stores both here in the UK and in the USA as well. So you have tons of options in those links below too. So thank you so much for joining me here at Hedgehog Hollow. We have daily tips, tricks, tutorials, so many fun things. Check those out as well. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit the join button, all of those fun things. Don't forget also to give us a thumbs up for today's video. I know you're gonna love playing with these Distress Oxide sprays as well. Leave me your favorite Distress Ink color in the comments below. I'd love to know what your favorite is as well. And I'll see you again for another video tomorrow. Happy stamping, bye.